Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how to make these little rice bags that we've been using to put our shields on. Uh, what you're going to need here is some fabric. Uh, you can get it at your local craft store. Any fabric would work. I'm using cotton, so you can definitely use cotton, or I've seen some in flannel too, which I'm sure would give a great result. Um, a template, or this is actually a ruler guide. A rotary cutter, a pair of scissors, needle and thread, your rice bucket with a spoon. And if you don't have this tool, excuse me, or this tool, or the mat, you could always go ahead and make yourself a three and a quarter inch square template out of hard stock or this is cardboard. So you could do that as well. Um, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how to do it, here's your fabric here. You can go ahead and cut away a clean edge. You always want to do that when you're working on projects to make sure you have the right measurements. So you want to lay your guide up and cut away so that you have a clean edge here and then again we're going to be using a three and a quarter inch fabric so you want to go ahead and go to three and a quarter and then make sure you're square on the bottom as well hold down and cut away from you cut towards you doesn't work trust me I've tried it I want to square this off as well a clean edge on your ends here. That was not going to be a clean edge. Here we go. And then again, you want a three and a quarter inch square. So and you don't have to have this mat. Any mat will do. This one is um, a rotating cutting mat that I got um, at the Walmart. Alright, so now that you have your three and a quarter inch square, you're going to go ahead and take your pieces of fabric. You have two sets here because I doubled up on my fabric. And you want to put them ugly side to, or ugly sides out. So, then you take them to your sewing machine. Look at all my scraps. And you want to keep them lined up. I don't pin. You could pin, though, if you want to, to keep them from moving. If this is your first project, you probably want to take your pins and make sure you pin it so it's not going to wiggle too much. I just hold, so. Then you want to go ahead, and I like to start halfway through my fabric for this. I don't like to start on the corner because I like all my corners to have a finished edge. So you want to start about an inch in from the edge of the rice bag. And you want to back stitch this. So that means you want to lock secure stitch on it. So you want to kind of one, two, and then back twice to give it that locked in stitch so that when you have this open bag at the end, it won't fray open. And I like to lock stitch, probably people who have been sewing a lot longer than me think it's ridiculous how much I lock stitch. Um, but I like to back stitch on almost all my corners as well just to ensure that I'm not gonna have any issues with rice coming through or fraying at the edges. And I have a cheater guide on mine at a quarter inch. So your three and a quarter inch square is actually going to give you a two and three quarter inch square um, rice pack, which I think fits nicely um, into the manicure bags and also um, is just kind of compact if you're, you know, going away or something like that. I think they're perfect size for this type of project. So you just want to go around all your edges. I'm almost there. until you get back to the beginning. Now see here's where we started. So I'm going to go in about a half an inch to three quarter inch on this fabric here. And I'm going to back stitch again so that it's locked in. I don't want any fraying or issues on that. Alright, so then I'm done. Then you have a bag like this, ugly side to ugly side. Then you want to go ahead and take, oh, I can just work with this one. Take this bag and you want to snip your edges here, or your, sorry, your loose threads. I, some people probably don't even think this matters because it's going to be on the inside of your bag, but I just like to get them out of the way in case I have to deal with them later. And then what I do is I cut off my corners, not all the way up to the stitches, but close, so that when you turn them inside out, your corners have a nicer finish. 